how to use ClickUp as a help desk ticketing system. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can create a help desk and also how to set up a ticketing desk or ticketing system into your space of ClickUp. So this is, is going to be a very simple and very useful for your tasks. And also you're going to make some automation in this process to make sure that you, the uh, ticketing uh, or the response of the ticketing will receive an email automated with an ID, a tag, and also it will be labeled. So it is very easy and very simple. All you need to do is to follow up the tutorial from the beginning till the end and you are going to be good to go. The first thing that you need to do is to head over, click up, and then you are going to create an account within the platform. Uh, here I have added a, a link into the uh, description box. So you are going to see that link that will help you to get a free trial on the uh, platform of ClickUp. So don't hesitate to use that link to get your free trial to uh, see all the different benefits and also the advantages that ClickUp will give you. So uh, here back to the platform, as you can see, we are on the admin dashboard. So now to be able to set up or uh, manage and create the ticketing system, you need to create a new space. So here at the left side, we have the control panel of the, uh, the platform. So all we need to do is to click on new space, and then we are going to name our space right there as ticketing system. So all of the working teams right there, will be uh, informed that this is the ticketing system. So the description is going to be here in tasks, for example, and for the icon and name, I'm going to put a, an icon or a name, a good name for it and also a good icon. So let's see here a color that is different from the colors that I have already. So then we are going to set up here the monitor to make sure that it is going to be something unique. So right there, I'm going to click on continue. Now, how we are going to define our workflow. So if it is for everyday tasks, you're going to set it for starter. If it is for the planning, manage and execute project, you're going to assign it for the project management. Here we have the marketing teams. And also we have the product plus engineering. So I am going to set it as a starter for everyday tasks. Now for the uh, customization, I'm going to select the default view and then we are going to add, for example, uh, the workload because it is very easy and very demanded. We are going to add the team. We are going to add a table and maybe we are going to add uh, the activity. So this is the first thing. Now we are going to click on done on that. For the task status, we are going to set up here to do uh, in progress and complete. Yes, we are going to set it for the uh, done. You can go ahead and use a done like that. And here we have it. Now uh, we are going back right there for the click apps. We're going to use the emails the priorities, some custom fields, time tracking. We don't need a time tracking. Remove subtask due dates. Maybe not. We don't need a, the dates. Time estimates. No, we are not going to do that. Multiple assignee. Yes. And the tags are okay. So you're going to see here some incomplete warning. Yes, we do that. The schedule uh, dependencies, uh, dependency warning right there. You're going to let this, uh, the status progress also is needed so i'm going to click on done and then i'm going to create this space so once you have created this space you're going to see here the list of the tasks now i am going to click uh, here on the view and see if i have uh, added a form so right there i'm going to add a form so we are going simply to search for form also add it here we have it more views as you can see and now we are going to add uh, the form so here we have uh, the uh, uh, the intake so we are going to 
set up a project intake and or we can go ahead and create it from scratch so i'm going simply uh, to uh, to add uh, this task into our ticketing system so we are going to add it to the list and that list is going to be uh, renamed so here uh, we are going to rename it as tickets where is it this ticket yes it is here it is. so we're going to name it as tickets and boom so right there i'm going to head back to the forms i don't need that so we are going to create it from scratch the list and then we are going to create it so this form is going to be here the uh, ticketing system so we are going to set up a form containing a email address and also it will be containing the problem so now we are going to add maybe the email so we are going to add a custom field and that custom field is going to be uh where is it so we're going to set up here email and see if it will uh, pop up now i don't see the email that we can add but i'm going to add it anyway so i was wrong about the uh, field that i have it is not a custom field but we are going to add it from here so we are going to create a field and then we are going to click on the search bar click or search for email so we are going to add the email and then we're going to set it as the email or feed name email and we are going to click on create so then we are going to drag and drop it to the form this is the first thing and then we're going to add something to this so here we are going to add a text or task description and we are going to name it right there not task but your uh your issue issue and here we have the text so then we can add something else like attachment here for example more uh, images images that shows or show the problem problem so here we are going to uh, remove the required field so the issue is uh, mandatory and also uh, the uh, email is mandatory so right there we have uh, the form i'm going to let you see here the form we have an email form and also we have our issue right there so now after we have set that our uh, form is ready now i am going right there to the uh, profile of mine and we are going to set some settings here first you are going to uh, head over the settings and then we are going to click on app center after that we are going to uh, search for a uh, here email so it is not here on the app center but i think that it is on the click apps so go ahead and click on uh, click apps from the beginning and then you are going to type in on the search bar email and as you can see i was right here we have the email you're going to see that it is enabled in three spaces we're going to make sure that it is going to be added to the ticketing system so i don't want to add it to all of this but only on ticketing system so this is the first click app now we are going to head over the second click app which is going to need here to be named id so we are going to see here that we have the custom task id we are going to uh, enable that but unfortunately in my case i don't have the business plan so you need a business plan to enable that custom uh, task id why maybe you will ask why do we need the uh, task id or the custom task id it is because we are going simply here to set up a unique task or id 
that is going to be for the specific system of hours. So right here for the form, if any one or any customer go ahead and set up here or submit a form, they will get a specific ID into that specific uh, form. So whenever you are going to receive here the, uh, where's the tickets? Yes, here it is. So whenever you are going to receive uh, here the uh, email, you're going to get here the ID uh, of each one of the customers. And here we have it. Now we are going to create an automation. So we are going to set up an automation. So we are going simply to add an automation or create one. So we are going to see here that the task type, so when task changes, maybe we are going to see and browse here from these tasks. So we are going to see the popular one created. So we are going simply to head over the email section. We are going to head over here, scroll down until we see email. When task created, then send email. So we are going to create that. Also, unfortunately, in my case, we need to uh, set up or upgrade to the business plan to unlock this automation. So when you unlock this automation, you are going to get the uh, the email uh, set up. So you can integrate the IDs, set up the uh, also the email sent from here forth and back or back and forward or forward to your customer and also to the uh, ticketing system right there. So that was all for today's video. That was very simple. The uh, tasks or the ticketing or, or the tickets will be set here for the tickets. Also, they will be emailed by the form uh, into this area. So you are not going to use your email, but the users will get the email and you are going only to see here your platform. So don't forget to get your link on the description to let you have a, a trial uh, or a trial version of the uh, click up and here you have it thank you guys for watching i hope that you have enjoyed the content and hope to see you soon on the next one